Hi guys, welcome to Metal Rock Zone. Today I want to tell you about six new heavy metal bands that I have found. They're new to me. They might not be new to the world, but they are new to me. Some of them are new also to the world, but all of them are new to me. And what I want to do today is to try to give you some hints of some new music to fill your playlist with, because we're all kind of stuck in the same. We're listening to the old Metallica, old Slayer, old Sepultura, old Beatles, old Rolling Stones, old this, old that, old Guns N' Roses, old, old, old. And we don't want new stuff because we want the old stuff. But there is some really cool new stuff coming out. And I want to share with you some of the stuff that I found. Today I'm going to be a little bit on the kind of the heavier side. So I'm talking death metal, black metal, thrash metal, doom metal, kind of like that, but with some variations. And uh, so if you're not into that stuff, then this might not be for you. But you know, leave me a like and subscribe to my channel before you go. Uh, and come back later because I will do episodes about different stuff as well. Um, so, yeah, what I want to do on this episode, I want to tell you about the bands, who they are and wh where they're from and all that stuff, and give you a little bit of, uh, of a sample of the music, some stuff that I've been listening to that I like, and what I think kind of represents what these bands are about. And then, by the end of this, I will tell you a little bit about how I find music, you know, what methods I have, because I have, actually, when I started thinking about it, I actually have kind of a lot of different ways where I find new music, and maybe that could be good for you to know, so you can do this yourself, and you don't need to watch videos with people like me. Uh, before we start social media, we have at Metal and Rock Zone, at Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and, Twi and TikTok. Yeah, TikTok. And uh, actually, we're booming on TikTok. Uh, versus the other platforms. Um, we share shorter videos and, and kind of inf information about album anniversaries and stuff like that. So it's a little bit of a different content than what here, what's here on our YouTube channel. Um, so find us there at Metal and Rock Zone and please subscribe to this channel, hit the like button and all that. That really helps kind of spreading the news. Um, without further ado, band number one, Ass in Hell. Uh, it's, uh, I, I don't know, Danish-German band in a way. So uh, there is this guy, Mikael Paulsen, who is the frontman of Volbeat. Uh, I went to see Volbeat last year, actually. You can check out my uh, concert review. Uh, Volbeat is, yeah, kind of like a rockabilly, heavy metal band. They're fun to watch live. It's not something that I would typically listen to. But what some people might not know is that Mikael Paulsen has kind of a background in death metal. He, had, he was in a group called Dominus, I think, in Denmark. And uh, he they made some albums and stuff like that. And then he started Volbeat. And, and that's a whole different kind of animal. But now he has put together a new band called Us in Hell, in one word. And... Uh, and they have an album coming out on the 29th of September, and that's called Impi Hora or something like that, or Impi Hora, or I don't know how you pronounce that. It's, yeah, whatever. It means ungodly hour. And, um, and in the band with him is, is a guy, German guy called Mark Greve, who's the singer, and then uh, Morten Toft Hansen is the drummer. I don't know really a lot about these guys, and there's actually not so much information about them out there that you can find. But uh, it sounded good, and it kind of when it came on, I was like, "Wow, they, I need to check this stuff out." And the name of the single that is out now, that's the only single that has been released from the album that is coming in the end of September, is called "Fall of the Loyal Warriors." So let's hear a little sample of that song, and then I'll talk a little bit about it afterwards. What I, I really like this stuff, you know, I like the kind of the overall sound is, and, the, and the, it's the dark and gloominess of it and the vocals really do it for me. Like, uh, I mean, it's obviously very well played, uh, but the vocals kind of, it's this ripping, desperate anchor that somehow, I don't know, takes me a little bit into maybe Sepultura or something. I, 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 I don't know exactly. You, you, you tell me, guys, what do you think? But I really look forward to hearing the, the whole thing. So the, the, the single is Fall of the Loyal Warrior, the album out on 29th of September called Impiora, As in Hell. Check that out, guys. So the next band uh, is a German band called Parasite Incorporated, or Parasite dot 
you know, Parasite Inc. Dot, you know, Incorporated. So that band, I'm kind of when I found out about this band, I'm a little bit, I was a little bit kind of ashamed that I hadn't found them before. Uh, it's kind of a melodic death metal band out of Germany, and they've been around since 2007. But there's been like a tons of lineup changes, so they weren't really productive in making music or like publishing music, let's say. But they had an album out in 2013, 2018, and then the latest one in 2022 called Cyanite uh, Dreams. Uh, and uh, it sort of has kind of like an industrial vibe somehow on top of kind of the classic melodic death metal layer. And, uh, and it, yeah, and they, they, they added, I think, on the, on the new album or the newest album that came out last year, they added kind of more clean vocals and stuff like that. So... There, there's some sort of a hybrid um, and, and interesting stuff. I mean, there were even parts there where I was thinking a little bit about Rammstein and stuff like that. But uh, you hear for yourself and then let's get back. So yeah, Cyan Night Dreams by Parasite Incorporated, German band. Check, check that band out, three albums out now. We're actually going to stay in Germany, guys. Uh, we're going to talk about a, a melodic black metal, I would say, yeah, black death metal band, kind of melodic, I would say melodic black metal, actually, when I listen to them. They're called Kanonenfieber, and that means Canon Fever, uh, and they have made... Uh, two, I think, full-length albums, and then two, no, one full-length album in 2021, and then they made uh, two EPs, I think, in 22, actually. So they've been very productive. Uh, and uh, let's just listen to it, because it's interesting stuff, and then I'll tell you a little bit more about how this band, and, and because I saw them live, I'll tell you a little bit more about them after we, we try this song out. <laughs> Anlass sei zu Volk. Seit der Reichsgründung ist es durch 43 Jahre. Oh yeah, th this band, I actually saw them live. I had, had no idea about this band. I had never heard about them, or I mean, they're brand new in a way. And uh, and it's quite the, the the show. And the whole thing is 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 themed on the First World War. So they they base it, the lyrics and the themes of the songs of letters from soldiers that and speeches. And you, as you could hear in the song, there you know they use a lot of these kind of old nineteen ten twenty era speeches from you know politicians and stuff like that and uh, so it gives it like a, a, a really a wipe and then they wear like um, masks and old like World War One military helmets and stuff like that and obviously and of course some very triggered people have been offended by this and all that but these guys are not <laughs> they are not pro-war, they're criticizing war, they're writing about war and, and stuff like that, and they're obviously not belonging to that political party that everybody hates that took over in Germany. So uh, it's, a, yeah, it's, a, it's a very interesting thing what these guys are doing, and the more I listen to it, the more I kind of like it, and it was really nice to see them live. And there's plenty of stuff out with them. This song is called Die Fauertaufe, which I'm, I, don't, I don't know what it's called, like... Uh, I don't know what that means. I think it's like some fire bringer or something like that. And uh, and the yeah the the last EP uh, der Fusilier, which means the soldier, is a is a great one. And the first one, uh, the Human Mill, Mansion Mühle, is is also a great album. So check out Canon and Fieber, guys. You will be surprised. And I think it's not your typical black metal. So. 
for those of you who kind of want to dip your toe into something new, this might be something to check out. So the next band is from the Faroe Islands and Denmark. So it's a mix of those. And for those of you who don't know, then the Faroe Islands belong to Denmark or they're part of the Danish empire, let's say, or the colony of Denmark, if you're just honest about it. So people in the Faroe Islands typically speak Danish. Danish people don't speak Faroese. Uh, and that band is called Jötun uh, or E E O E O T U N N. And uh, but in Iceland we speak close to the Faroese. We would say Jötun. Um, it means like a monster or a, a troll, you know, like someone big and strong and like uh, vulgar. And uh, it's a kind of a progressive um, death metal with, with kind of like a sci-fi flair somehow. I saw that description somewhere. And, and after listening to this band, I thought, yeah, that, that's actually fitting. And uh, they have a, a new song out now called uh, Mistland, which is eight minutes or something like that. And it's really, really cool. It's kind of like a, a journey, you know. And I, I, when I listened to this, I could hear the, the um, what is it called, like the Nordic kind of influence on this and uh, the vibes are there. And it turns out that the guy that mixed the album has been working with, you know, Paradise Lost and Amon Amart. So it's atmospheric, Nordic somehow, and but yeah, has has something. Uh, and uh, yeah, let, let's let's check that out. Let's let's listen to a little bit. Guys. Yeah, uh, Jürgen came out with their first full album last year. It's called Access All Worlds. And then this new single, it's called Mistland. It just came out very recently. I don't know, know exactly when. So there must be like another album in the making or something. I couldn't find a lot of information about it. So yeah, you can find this find this band, Jürgen. They're on Spotify and uh, check out some of their stuff. It's quite interesting and they mix a lot of things. And yeah, it's, it's kind of a magical music somehow. Uh, the next band is a Polish band called Ether, or A-E-T-H-E-R, Ether. I, I think it's yeah, pronounced Ether. Uh, and they play kind of epic, symphonic, melodic uh, death metal. Founded in 2015, and they are inspired by bands that I haven't really listened to, but I like this band. I saw them live, actually, and that's kind of where I found them. Uh, Winter Sun, Blind Guardian, and... Wolfheart, um, and they opened up for Kanon and Fieber that I talked about earlier in a concert here in Prague, and uh, I was very impressed. I mean, they the, the band just also was nice, you know, like they had a good time on the stage, and they were, you know, they played a new song that had never played live. I mean, that's kind of, you know, they didn't have to. They had plenty of material to choose from, but they, you know, yeah, they, they were brave, you know, uh, and they, yeah, they made an EP in 2016 called uh, Tale of Fire and then a full album in 2019 called In Embers. And, uh, and I'm going to play that, the, that song, this Tale of Fire. It's actually on the EP and also on the full album, Tale of Fire, Ether. As you can hear it, this is kind of a grand music, you know, and, and uh, yeah, there are some power metal elements in there. And yeah, as I said, that's epic, symphonic, somehow um, interesting stuff and, and a cool live band. Check them out if you if you see them anywhere. They opened up, as I said, for Canon and Fieber here and uh, it was fun to watch. Um, so, 
now we're coming to the last band, so it's almost over, guys. I hope you haven't finished your popcorn. Uh, if you like Black Sabbath, then I think you will like this next band. Uh, it's a London-based group called Green Lung, and uh, it's kind of like a, I don't know, doomy, gloomy, pro proto post metal something. It's hard to put it somewhere, but I I I hear a lot of kind of. Uh, similarities to to Aussie era Black Sabbath stuff and actually Revolver wrote about them and I'm just gonna read this out here that it's huge swinging riffs wailing vocals and that split the difference between Aussie and Dio and really catchy keyboard lines that give a symphonic flair and I think I think this is kind of spot on somehow uh, um, it's loyal kind of to the the past, but still modern, you know, like the sound is cool and, and yeah, but it, it, it really gives that vibe somehow without feeling like it's a copy of it, I don't know. So I'm going to play a little piece of a song called uh, Let the Devil In. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that when these vocals came in, you thought Aussie. Uh, that was the first thing that I thought when I heard this. So this band, Green Lung out of London, they have two albums out. One in 2019 called uh, Woodland, Woodland Rides, and then one in 2021 called uh, Black Harvest or something. Yeah, Black, Black, Blackest, Black Harvest. So they have two albums out. It's this type of stuff. It's kind of doomy and gloomy, but yeah, maybe a little bit softer than some of the other stuff that I've, or slower, let's say, than some of the other stuff that I played on this episode before. But I really like this band and, and I was very happy when I found this. And then, guys, tell me if you have some new bands and uh, if, if you know these bands that I played for you, I'm very happy. And if you know some more about them than I do, I found out actually when I was talking to you just now that there's a lot of like German, Danish, Danish, Faroes, uh, you know, like it's just uh, actually Green Lung and uh, and uh, Ether from Poland that there is no, I think, German Danish Faroese or something in it. So, it was not on purpose. But I, uh, anyway, how do I find music? So I'm always on the lookout for something new because I'm kind of tired of having the same stuff on replay for the last thirty years. And uh, so I use. Of course, obviously, Spotify a lot. I mean, I, I, I put on, you know, the artist radio and that brings sometimes up something cool. I, I use that release radar and now Spotify has learned so much about me that in that release radar that barely comes any Justin Bieber or anything like that. It's kind of true to what I want. So there are out of maybe 30 songs on the release radar, there may be just four or five that are, are there by mistake or shouldn't be belong there or my girlfriend has been using my, my Spotify. Uh, so... I also use Wikipedia because on Wikipedia there is, uh, if you if you say new, new new and heavy metal music 2023, that you will actually get a release calendar that is pretty accurate. I have never found anything on there that then didn't come out. Uh, I mean, it obviously doesn't have all the bands. It doesn't have some of the more kind of indie labels and some of the more underground, but you're definitely not going to miss out on anything kind of a little bit bigger. So I use that a lot, actually. Every week I check what's coming out next Friday and I start listening to their previous stuff and so on. Um, I always try to go and see the opening acts on every concert that I go to because you will always find some, you know, gems and some diamonds there because uh, we let's keep in mind that Metallica opened up for a band called Diamond Hair, I think, in the UK in 82 or something or 83. And uh, most people don't know what Diamond Hair is today, but people know a little bit about what Metallica is. So you never know where these bands are going that you're going to see. I actually met a guy here in Prague. He saw Nirvana in, in a bar in America where there were three people in the crowd before they broke big and he helped them carry your stuff to the car So yeah, don't underestimate the, the small bands and be nice to them because they might become big and then they could be nice to you um, 
And then, yeah, there are some bands that actually reach out to me, like uh, they see my channel, they write an email and they present their stuff to me. And, and uh, yeah, I, I, I really like that. I really appreciate that. And uh, I will definitely do, I'm, I mean, I will do more of this and some of these bands will be included in those episodes. None of these bands have reached out to me yet. Uh, and probably will never. Uh, and then friends. I have friends, um, believe it or not, and they sometimes tell me about something. And for example, Parasite that I spoke about here. My friend here in Prague, James, he uh, he called me and asked me to come to see Parasite live yesterday night on Friday. I couldn't go, um, and uh, but I had never heard about the band. So I was in the car and I said, oh, I will try this band. And it's good stuff. So friends like James, they can be worth their weight in gold uh, if they give you some new uh, music. Suggest me some bands, like, share, subscribe, uh, tell me what you think. I love the comments. Those of you who have been com communicating with me here know that, that I try to answer everything and I'm always curious about your opinions and stuff like that. Take care, guys, uh, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.